Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwan and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my weekly Sunday vlog for August 4th, 2019. It is where we're going to talk about the video games I've been playing, movies I've been watching, stuff like that. Uh, I've eaten a couple places too that I want to talk about. I did see one movie. Uh, it was free on Vudu. It's called Rover Dangerfield. It actually stars Rodney Dangerfield, uh, the comedian. So the story is about a dog who lives in Las Vegas. He's living a high life and stuff like that. And then uh, his owner had a, like, uh, uh, his owner, his girl, uh, had a boyfriend who was like really mean and stuff like that. He like snatched him up and kidnapped the dog and uh, threw him into the, the river. And then uh, some people like found him out in the river. And then uh, Rover Dangerfield had to stay on a farm for a while. He was like living, you know, the farm life and stuff like that. It was He was a fish out of water, you know? But he made friends at the farm and stuff like that. It was a really cool movie. It's a really good movie, okay? Uh, I, I didn't even know it existed. I, I saw it on the uh, the list of movies on uh, Voodoo, and I just gave it a watch, and I actually really like it. You should watch it too sometime. <laughs> um, I also saw another movie. Fear.com I don't know who asked about it, but someone in my YouTube comments asked me if I've seen Fear.com or not. Well, I had the movie for years. i never seen it. So finally, I saw Fear.com. The movie's alright. I guess it does have some uh, pretty visuals at one point. You know, a very artistic look to it. Um, but uh, overall, I thought uh, the story was okay. The uh, It was... I read somewhere that the story at one point was like so gruesome and so horrifying and stuff like that they had to edit it down to make it an R rating like it was beyond R at one point but uh, the way to edit I, I would rather see the uh, the stuff back man uh, it's an okay movie the two main characters are like a detective um, they're all right they're, they're easy to follow and stuff like that they're, they're likable people you know the story is basically that if you go into this website like you get like possessed, uh, or you get haunted by a ghost of a person that got like uh, got like tortured online. So they're just like, find me, you know. So these two guys were like on a quest to find the girl that, that got killed uh, by by the murderer. So, so, so they they found murder at the end, and happy happy ending stuff like that. The website got destroyed and whatever, you know. Uh, and yeah, no wonder it's no fear.com too. But I, I hear this movie didn't make any uh, make uh, good money. What are you looking at? <laughs> okay. Uh, I ate at a couple places. I went to IHOP with this one girl. We had breakfast there. She works at nights, you know. Similar to how I used to work at nights, she had the same hours. Like She gets off at 6 in the morning, and I figure, hey, why not? I'm gonna hang out with her. Let's go to IHOP. I really like her, by the way. <laughs> she loves she loves Star Wars. I showed her my DVD collection. She was like so impressed by it. I.e., like like if things go out uh, turn out well and stuff like that, she may actually let me keep it. My parents are always like, "Oh, your wife's gonna probably make you like sell it or something like that," you know, all my toys and whatever. But but she she likes going to comic cons. She likes anime. She likes reading comic books and manga. She's interested in video games, like. I really enjoy her, man. I, like, I really enjoy my time with her. Um, I guess one of the downsides is that we're both very really quiet people <laughs> so far well, from what I've seen. Um, but there, there's a lot of a lot of pluses there also, okay? Um, I, I hope things turn out well, okay? Um, because we have a lot in common. We, she, she's, I've told her she's very easy to talk to and such. Um, I also ate a Chick-fil-A breakfast with my friend Nathaniel. You'll probably see that video like later this week or something like that. Um, we had the sausage, biscuit, egg, and cheese sandwich, breakfast sandwich. It's funny because uh, we, we ordered number five from the menu, right? Which is the sausage biscuit uh, sandwich. But they gave us number five from the lunch menu, the grilled, grilled, uh, grilled chicken. And, uh, man, when we said that the order's wrong, you know, they took our trays and they dumped it in trash. 
<laughs> like it was, uh, we haven't even eaten the fries, we've never even taken a bite from the, uh, the sandwich, the chicken sandwich, the grilled sandwich, and uh, they just dumped it in the trash, man. I was like, man, what a waste. But the breakfast was worth it, man. You know, I've held on to this uh, gift card for like almost four or five years. Like, what the heck? This is Chick-fil-A. So, <laughs> Chick-fil-A is yummy though, but don't eat that, that gift card. <laughs> I've held this gift card like four years. My friend gave it to me like Christmas, my birthday or something like that a long time ago. I never used it because he was under the impression that he give, if he gives me a gift card to somewhere, I would automatically eat there. Even if I, I, I don't like the place or I don't like whatever, you know, I've held this gift card for a very long time. I've had eaten that Chick-fil-A, but you know, someone always, like someone else pays for it or whatever, but not, not, uh, uh, not, I, I don't have an opportunity to use that gift card. You're very calm during these videos, aren't you? I just, you, know, you must find my voice soothing or something. <laughs> uh, I went to Hot Topic and uh, I bought this hat, this little beanie. Yep, that's right. Uh, Doctor Who, okay. I also went to a Doctor Who meetup, a Doctor Who fan meetup. You know, like like the uh, wrestling group that I hang out with here in Houston. There's a Doctor Who fan group here also. So I, I've been. Uh, I went to one of their meetings back at Cheesecake Factory. That was my actually my first time going to Cheesecake Factory, and uh, I had the the Da Vinci pasta. It was pretty good. I, it was huge proportions too. I had leftovers and such. But uh, yeah, well, it was great. Uh, my first time at uh, Chief Cake Factory. I didn't take a picture or anything. Well, actually, if you go on um, on uh, Facebook, there, I, I, I am a, a fan of the Houston Doctor Who fan meetup group. Okay, you can see a, a group picture of us there. Okay, most of the, the people that are in that group are uh, like the classic Who fans. Okay, mainly. Um, it was me and this one other guy that's like, uh, you know, the younger people is into like the new new stories, okay? So uh, Christopher Eccleston onward, um, and he's in the anime and conventions and stuff like that too. I, I mentioned uh, uh, hang out with him in the future or something like that, okay? Where are we on time? We're like seven minutes in. We can do like a Q and A or something right now. How about that? You want to? Here, let me get my phone. Uh, there is a, um, there is, there are two DVDs that are coming out this upcoming week. I'll be out of town for a few days, okay? I cannot do unboxing of those videos. One of them, Avengers Infinity War, comes out on DVD and Blu-ray this upcoming week. I can't do an unboxing of it on day one. Maybe like later on in the week when I come back, okay? Uh, and also Riverdale. Riverdale Season 3 comes out on DVD. I do plan on buying it, okay? Okay, hang on. Alright, got my phone. I'm going to open up the, uh, the Q&A from last week's vlog and we'll answer some of the questions there. You know, there's tons of uh, questions in general, not on just the vlog, so I'm just going to go through the, the comment section in general. Multi Gunman, can you collect for the Sega Genesis and do a video for it? He's talking about my Madden collection, which I uploaded this past week, because Madden came out this past week, the new Madden 20. And, um, and uh, he asked me if I should buy the G Sega Genesis. Someone actually asked me about the PlayStation games also, like pr pretty much anything Madden 99 and before. Okay, hang on. I bet you're very uncomfortable sitting like that, aren't you? Whoop. Uh, I could, maybe in the future, I'll consider buying all the Madden games before Madden 20, uh, Madden 2000, okay? Um, let's see, any other, an update on an, hey! If you have to suck on anyone's thumb, suck on your own. <laughs> um, update of the Indiana Jones collection would be nice. Oh, and that's from uh, Philip Snell. Philip Snell wants me to update my 
Indiana Jones collection, which I do have an update of. Well, well, I, I bought more things for the Indiana Jones collection. I haven't made a video of it, but now that I've thought about it, you know, that, that would be an interesting thing to do, okay? Especially since they're talking about making another movie and such. Um, let's see. Steven Martinez, he's been asking this in a few videos. Do you think that sleep is better than movies and games? I think sleep is much more beneficial to your body than watching movies or playing video games, I guess. But uh, in terms of entertainment, I'd rather, like, watch a movie or play a video game rather than just lay there in bed. You know what I'm saying? That's my answer to that. <laughs> uh, Marvel DC fan Belgium Dutch. David, Sniper Elite 4 is on August 6th, free for PlayStation Plus. You should live stream it. I have live streamed uh, Sniper Elite 4. I bought Sniper Elite 4 the, the, the day it came out, you know, way back when, you know? Uh, that was one of the games I, I was really looking forward to. So I, I bought Sniper Elite 4 on day one, okay, on release day, and I played through it. It's like probably like four or five parts on my YouTube channel. There, there is a Sniper Elite um, uh, playlist on my YouTube channel, okay? Um, Dandy Makari, please do a Mass Effect collection. Um, yeah. I can definitely pull out a Mass, Mass Effect collection. I have the collection on PS3. I got Andromeda. I also got some magazines that we can use to make the collection look bigger and stuff, you know? Um, yeah. Uh, what else? What if Endgame has an ultraviolet code? He's talking about my, uh, digital movie collection. And I talked about how ultraviolet is gone. Uh, now when they come up with digital codes, it's like on Movies Anywhere, on Voodoo or something, they won't do it on Ultraviolet, okay? Because Ultraviolet closed this past week. Um... Let's see. Oh, here it is. Backwood Bandit. That's who asked me about Fear.com, okay? So yeah, uh, I watched the movie this past week because of you, uh, Backwood Bandit, okay? Um... David, will you ever do a MCU ranking? There's too many movies to rank, man. And uh, sometimes my moods change with the movies, you know? So sometimes uh, I, I like comedies more, or I want to drama more, or whatever, you know? So some movies, like, like shift around, you know? So that will change depending on what mood I decided for that video, you know? For me, it's not about story or the acting or whatever. It's about enjoyment of the movie. Uh, some people asked me to uh, join them for GTA Online because they noticed I was playing with Doom and Jesse and Paul this past week. Um, unfortunately, <clears throat> my uh, PlayStation Plus will expire, I would say this week, I think. I think I got it for a whole month already. So I'll probably add Sniper Elite 4 onto my download list, and that'll probably be it. So j just in case in the future uh, I can get it free, you know, if I decide to get PlayStation Plus, it's already on there, you know. Um, I would say one more question. Peter Din, are you going to the Marion Days this year? Obviously not. <laughs> so, um, what he's talking about is there's this big pilgrimage or festival that happens in Carthage, Missouri every single year. Um, I, I didn't go to it this year because of work and stuff like that. And plus I got this upcoming trip. And plus he can't go, so, um, I mean, it's just too hot to be outside and stuff like that, you know? So, I'm here just watching watching the nephew and stuff like that. <laughs> so, so yeah. Maybe one more question. Uh, what's up, David? This is one from, from Enrique the Goat. What's up, David? What's your favorite Spider-Man video game of all time? My favorite Spider-Man video game is probably the one from, uh, it's on PlayStation 1. It has Dr. Octopus, and then Carnage takes over Dr. Octopus. Like, Dr. Octopus got the Carnage symbiote at the end of the game, and you have a boss fight there. I don't know which I think that's like one of the first, like, modern-ish, um, uh, Spider-Man games. It was on PlayStation 1. I, I remember playing on PlayStation 1, so, uh, it was, it was just called Spider-Man at the time, okay? Okay, that's it. What's, uh, what's the time? We're 14 minutes in. All right, I, get, I think that's really good uh, Sunday vlog. Okay, well, thank you for watching, everyone. Be sure to comment and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.
Give it thumbs up, man. Thumbs up. <laughs>